What is up, watch fam? It is Michael, and uh, today we're doing something a little bit different because it's a holiday special, kind of. How we're celebrating is we're working a lot, but we're gonna vlog what we typically do in a day. So right now we're about to go to a Jack Dro shoot. We're gonna go play some piano. Well, I'm gonna film piano. I don't know how to play piano, but we're gonna do that, photograph some watches, do some voiceover recording, so should be good. Anyways, going into Christian's house right now, and it's time to go. We're actually almost late. Uh, here you go. No, you I shower? Didn't even shower. <laughs> the hell what time did we say? I'm not wearing a watch. That's why. That's why. A uh, watch oh, man ain't got no. no watch. At least you had the boss, so we I'm can just make be late. Coffee. All right. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's such a kosher watch. I, I think it's fantastic. So you know, no. Um, but please text me. I mean, text me or email me. This is my this is my number, and I'll be available all day. Get the truth. He'll call back. I wanted to show. I wanted to show him that there's no room in the yeah, car. Yeah. I don't want. Oh, sorry. There's no room in the car. Like, <laughs> We're supposed to go pick up Dan and drive him to the location, but uh, we have a lot of gear in the back. <laughs> My car's just not ready for So we can't else. do When are you gonna get the G-Wagon? <laughs> I'm sick of this tiny little Mercedes coupe. It oh, sucks. Oh, that's so trashy. <laughs> I hate that you missed it. 142A. Okay, we just got to the location of the shoot. There's a piano. We are in an apartment at the Upper West Side. It's gorgeous. We're filming with this guy, Dan. Possibly the nicest person I've ever met. And I've met a lot of people. He gave us snacks. He gave me a water. He's incredible. So he's playing piano for us. I'll introduce him in a second. But uh, this apartment we're filming in is beautiful. They have a really good color scheme going on. So I'm a fan. Anyways, look at the outside view. Huh. This is Dan. <laughs> yeah, of course. Because you know, that's going to be really catchy people. Yeah, of course. Yeah. People. This is Dan, we just wrapped up filming, he played like 40 times. It's gonna look like it was just once, but it was like 40 times. This is what it looks like though. And that was just unbelievable. I can't wait to release this thing, it's gonna be sick. Dan, any last words? Um, yeah, it's a pleasure to uh, collaborate together and uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, mixing, you know, culture, art. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just got done filming. Looks heavy. It's taking the gear up. <laughs> Idiot. Everything's fine. Things are doing great. Tell me. <laughs> you better hope I don't fall. Hey, hey. Oh. Okay, step two. Now we're doing some photographing. So I have to photograph all of these watches with comically large boxes. This is an Omega box. It's massive. But uh, yeah, so let me show you how we do that. Okay, so since it's the holidays coming up, I'm going back to Cape Cod to take some time off and see my family. So we're stocking up on watch photos that we can put on the watch shop. Now, the setup here is nothing crazy. I'll still show it to you, but really, really simple. And also show you all the watches, so should be good. But anyways, here's the setup. This is the light modifier of choice. I guess I don't really know if it's a choice or not, but we have a softbox and we have this china ball, which I really don't know which one I like better. They have different applications, obviously. I use a softbox for throwing soft light in one direction. China ball kind of does it everywhere. I don't necessarily need this to do everywhere for the specific watch shot, but it's a little easier to manage than our softbox because our softbox is 48 inches in diameter. So it's quite big. So I use this. Okay, so here's the basic setup. There's stuff everywhere because it's the holidays, but still, anyways, here it is. So we have this little white container contraption here. That's basically to diffuse the light on either side. I know there's a diffuser here, but basically this LED light is way more powerful than this incandescent light. So I keep the diffuser on anyways, just to soften the light a little bit more because when it's shooting into this, it kind of overpowers it. But anyways, not important. Inside here, we don't need this. I use this white card though, just to get white balance so that way I don't have to do it in post. I shoot the stuff raw so I can change the white balance in post, but I don't. Our setup really isn't that crazy though. It's this light right up against it just because this light is a lot more strong. So I make up with that with proximity and uh, that's the whole setup. The biggest goal obviously is to get soft, even lighting. And that's about it. We have this little board of acrylic that I use just to heighten 
off the bottom here, get a little uh, blur so that way it's harder to see what's below. And uh, that's that. It's really not that crazy and really not that fancy as you can see, but it works. Basically until we need to scale up, this works perfect. Obviously two of these lights will be really ideal just for film and for photographing, but we don't need those yet, but soon, but not yet. First up is this little Omega right here. What I typically do, I do this actually in three rounds. I put the watch down, get a face down shot, get a side shot, get a back of the case shot. Then I do that through all the watches, move this to on its side, then I get case side shots. And then if I need to, if there's a box, which I don't know how I'm gonna do it this time because those boxes are so big, but then I'll usually use that setup for that too. I used to also do this with flash, flash only, not continuous lighting, but since we have continuous lighting, it's a little easier and quicker, and I don't have to worry about changing batteries and stuff for the flash. So so anyways, this is the first watch, like I said. I usually set the hands to 10-10, make sure everything's good, and then uh, fire away. So this is what I would do. Basically, you could see there's pretty even light on both sides, and the face is illuminated, so then I would just take the pit. Well, first, I would change the hands to 10-10, but then I would take the picture. I found the pole router. Where was it? It was under a... <laughs> <laughs> under a poorly placed Rolex hat. Ah, the irony. Yeah. The irony, right? <laughs> Overshadowed again. <laughs> again, <Rolex>. again. <laughs> So sometimes I forget that my primary job is to sell watches, not just build a fantastic media company. So <laughs> I had to sell this watch today, it was a real burden. Uh, but this is a beautiful watch. This is a 1016 Rolex Explorer, 36 millimeters. This is just as much of a Rolex sports watch, tool watch, as a Submariner. But because it's a little bit smaller at 36 millimeters, it's not nearly as popular. So great explorers like this one can be had, you know, around the $15,000 mark, where for that number, you can hardly get a, a, a quad quality, vintage, collectible sub. So, you know, I tell clients all the time, if you are, you know, able to go down to 36 mil, you have to look at vintage explorers. And this client, who I believe is based in Chicago, uh, looked at it and he loved it and he bought it basically um, in like five minutes. So, hey, Merry Christmas, ho, 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 you filthy animals. As you probably know if you watch this channel, Christian uh, drinks just a little bit, so I couldn't possibly think of a better sponsor for Liquor Run than the Coleman Bottling Company. Also, yeah, Liquor Run's coming back, so that could be fun. Ah uh, yes, the Theo and Harris studio. I remember the first day I started working here, I did a Q&A with Christian, and uh, I was gonna poop my pants, very nervous. Just very weird to actually see the real thing. Anyways though, we're doing a little recording for London Jewelers right now. So we're doing a little narration and then uh, then that's it. It's Saturday, so I'll be going to Cape Cod for Christmas. You simultaneously look like a James Bond villain and James Bond. <laughs> yeah. These are these are words that we live by when we're we're feeling kind of down. We just Christianize. I was a bastard, <laughs> orphan, son of a whore and a Scotsman, dropped, dropped in, in the, the middle, middle of a forgotten, forgotten spot, spot in the Caribbean. Since a virtual appointment is held through your laptop, iPad, or phone, you no longer. What is up, wild wolf? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> What is up, watch fam? Uh, truth be told, I made a great tutor video and just you people aren't watching it. So swipe up and watch it right now so I could finally get my Christmas wish. <laughs> hey, Christian, thank God. I really, I need, I have a few Coffee, coffee. What? Get me Armani on the phone. <laughs> I need Armani on the phone. <laughs> All right, well, guys, thank you for watching the vlog. It's a Saturday, so I have to get down to my meetings now with, uh, 
all my important people. <laughs> I'm gonna start drinking. <laughs> and listen, and that's, that's it's the holiday yeah, season. Yeah, I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. I, I was gonna say, I hope you guys don't get socks, but socks were actually the only thing that I asked for this year. Michael got me a lovely pair of wool socks. I'm a big sock guy. Um, enjoy the time with your family. I know I'll do the same, and I'll see you guys on Instagram. Tell them. Okay, so now we're back at my apartment. If you follow my YouTube channel, The Iron Snail, which you definitely should, you'll recognize it. If not, welcome to my apartment. So, I hope you like it. This is uh, what I like to call the Dragon's Den. I don't actually call it the Dragon's Den, I call it Michael's Apartment. But, this is where I do all my editing, this is where Christian FaceTimes me, and calls me, and texts me, and emails me. This is the computer that I work on. And I think that probably wraps it all up for this video. So. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you like to see what we do. Happy holidays to everyone. Thank you for watching us. As always, I'm very grateful. I say as always like I've worked here for more than two months, but I'm grateful, so I'll see you all in the next video, which will be next year.